Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to sunny San Jose, California. You're not going to believe what we've got for you tonight. No doubt, Cole, tonight's show is completely off the hook as we do it West Coast style. You got that right. And so are these San Jose fans. They can't wait to see the SmackDown superstars in action, and neither can I. Wow, great reversal. Great reversal! Hey, the ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, that's hard. Well, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. Hey, you know what, Cole? If you're going to get on your high horse again and give us another lecture about playing fair, I swear to God, I'm going to throw up. Is it so wrong to ask a superstar to play by the rules, Taz? That doesn't seem to be so unreasonable to me. That's because you never competed in a match, Cole. If you did, you'd know that you got to do whatever it takes to win. And if that means bending the rules a bit, well, then that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Wow, listen to that chant, Taz. I'll tell you what, if you've got the crowd on your side or against you, it makes a huge difference, believe me. That was a textbook reversal. These superstars are on top of their game, but only one of them is going to have their hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame because, like you said, this has been a great match so far. Well, what do you want, Cole? You want to say that everyone wins so nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. What a deadly submission hold this is. We might see a tap out right here. You won't surprise me one bit. The longer you stay in this, the more risk you have for serious injury. You just don't see action like this every day. You sure don't, Taz. And we've got the best seats in the house. No doubt, front center. We couldn't be any closer to this match without being in it. Well, that's your territory, partner, not mine. I'm probably happy to stay in right where I am. And there's the counter, Cole. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That ain't necessarily the case, Cole. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it always ends the match. You sound like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. But if I locked in the Taz mission, that was it. End the story. It was over. I think you're developing a selective memory in your old age, partner. It's so great seeing these athletes compete here tonight. I had a feeling they were going to wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen. There's the submission hold. I've seen a lot of superstars tap out to this one, Cole. You and me both, partner. And we might be about to see another one right here. I got to tell you, Cole. I thought I had this thing figured out. But now I got no idea how this is going to end up. Neither do I, Taz. And I think... Oh, man. This is just about the last hold you want to find yourself in. I can imagine. Just look at the pressure being applied here. <laughs> Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce oh, table. Oh, come on, Cole. You know, you should let me train you. You could be cruiserweight champion in like a year. Well, I know. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like push owners. Good. They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, thanks, but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. Oh, man, these fans are fired up now. They sure are. And you know that's going to have an effect on this match. You know, Cole, I'd ask you who you're rooting for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claim to be completely objective, Taz. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick within the rules and show some sportsmanship in the ring. You gotta understand, Cole, I know it ain't exactly kosher, but you're putting your body on the line in there. You gotta do whatever it takes to protect yourself and pick up the win. Taz, you're talking about two different things. Going outside the rules in the name of self-defense is one thing, but cheating to steal a victory and enhance your own career is something completely
Here's your winner.